Hey everybody, it's Professor Williams and we're going to look at working through a linear program maximization problem. This is a pretty standard type of question that we run into. So we have Old McDonald who has a farm and he owns 40 acres of land and he wants to farm carrots, broccoli, and cauliflower. So we know that an acre of carrots cost him $50, takes 20 hours of labor, broccoli is 35, takes 35 hours of labor, cauliflower costs 45 and takes 30 hours of labor. He has a budget of $2,500. They have a maximum of 1,000 hours of labor available. One acre of carrots is going to generate $200 in profit. Broccoli is $250, and cauliflower is $230 in profit. He wants to have at least five acres per crop. So what I've done is I've set up my spreadsheet, and you'll see that I have my carrots, my broccoli, my cauliflower, and we have investment, in other words, how much he can spend, labor per unit profit. And then I've given myself a set of cells for decision variables. This is where solver is going to generate my output. We know we have some constraints, and so what's going to happen is solver is going to change these quantities used based on the constraints I enter and I like to do a column or a set of quantity available it just makes it easier when I go into solver and I start entering my constraints and then ultimately I have this objective function which is a maximization question and in this case he wants to maximize his profits we're going to go ahead and start. So carrots cost him $50. The broccoli costs him $35. And the cauliflower costs him $45. Now for labor, we know that the carrots take 20 hours the broccoli takes 35 hours, and the cauliflower takes 30 hours. We're also given how much profit he'll make. So an acre of carrots is going to result in $200 worth of profit. It makes $250 an acre for broccoli and $230 an acre for cauliflower. So now let's look at the constraints. And the constraints are anything in your problem that says, I only have a maximum of this, or I want at least this, or I want no more than this. So we know that he only has a certain amount of money to invest. And he said he had a budget of $2,500. Um, I know that for labor, I'm just going down this list over here, he has a thousand hours of labor available. He also said that he wanted to have at least five acres per crop. So I'm going to put in my fives, and then over here he wants at least five acres of carrots. So I know that he wants at least, which means that's greater than or equal to. I know that for broccoli, he wants the same thing. He wants to have at least, which means greater than or equal to. And then for cauliflower, that's a hard word to spell. Cauliflower. Probably should have picked the example I could spell. Right? And he wants at least five acres there. But he also said that he only owns 40 acres of land. So we have to keep that total 
of his acres, he only has 40 available. So I know my 40 acres is going to have to be, is going to end up being a less than or equal to. But I think that this sometimes helps when you're setting up your constraints and solver. So if I know that my available, he only has um, $2,500 available, then I know that for his investment, it has to be less than or equal to that. He only has a thousand hours of labor available, so I have to be less than or equal to that. For carrots, remember we said that for each of these, oops, he wanted to be, oh, I'll hate. So I have to put in a little apostrophe. Greater than, this needs to be greater than, and total acres, we have to keep that less than 40 acres. The next thing I need to do before I get into solver is I need to go ahead and set my objective function formula. Well, what is our objective? Our objective is to maximize profit. Well, where is my profit? in this spreadsheet it's right over here so i have per unit profit solver is going to give me this value which will be the number of acres to plant so my objective function the easiest way to do this is to do an equal sum product and i'm going to do that and i'm going to take that by taking my profits, comma, times whatever solver tells me I should plant in each one of these crops. And I know it sound, seems weird that you're referencing empty cells, but trust me that once solver populates those cells, your objective function will work. I hit enter there. All right, so I'm going to go up to data and I'm going to pull solver and I'm going to get my dialog box. So I'll move it back and forth for you. So my objective function, we already put our formula in. So my objective function is going to be in F4. Now, I want this a maximization because I want maximum um, pro uh, profit. And what do I want solver to change for me, right? In other words, where are my variables? My variables are in B, C, and D. So B7 to D7. And now I have to put in my constraints. So my first constraint, and you can do these fancy, fancy, or you can just do them one at a time, and then you don't have to, to stress over it. So I'm going to do it longhand. So the first constraint is going to be that quantity used of... Um, investment money be less than or equal to the $2,500. And so I'm going to add that one. Now I'm going to add that labor has to be less than or equal to the $1,000. I'll say add that one. Now I'm down to carrots. This Remember, this is how many acres it was. And they wanted to be that to be at least... Right, so greater than or equal to five, add that one. We want broccoli to be greater than or equal to five, add that one. I want cauliflower to be greater than or equal to five, add. Last thing I need to do is I need to say total acres needs to be or less than, less than or equal to 40 
and I'm going to say OK. So like I said, this is the long way. I could have just done it and said everything in B10 to B11 less than or equal to D10 to D11, everything in B12 to B14 greater than or equal to D12 and D14, but I want this to be as step-by-step -step as possible. We always want to say any unconstrained variables need to be non-negative, and we are going to solve this using a simplex LP method. So I'm double checking. I've got my objectives. I've got my variable cells. I've got my restraints. And I'm going to hit solve. So what we want to see is we want to see this box that says solver found a solution that all of our constraints have been met. We have an optimal condition. I have my answer. I can look at the sensitivity report. I can look at the limits. But all I'm going to say here is OK. And now what you'll see is that Solver tells us to plant 25 acres in carrots, 10 acres in broccoli, 5 acres in cauliflower. They're going to make $8,650 in profit. They only had to use up $1,825 of their available funds. They're going to use all of their labor, um, and they're going to use all of their land. So that's a pretty straightforward LP model. I hope this helped, and thanks for watching.